Hey guys, it's Roxanne from RoxanneLynch.com. Hey, how's it going in your neck of the woods today? Okay, so I wanted to talk about home sweet home. I really wanted to talk about building a place where your tribe can be living happily ever after and creating a place in a space where women come to that they almost will never want to leave. I mean, wouldn't that be absolutely fabulous? And I'm touching on this because of last night's topic was about, you know, ooh, is it time to be switching companies? And one of the uh, sentences that I said, and I actually wrote it down, is a lot of women change businesses and a lot of women change companies is because they're not getting something that they want or they need, and they're missing a desired benefit. Something is lacking. So I was thinking about that. And I remember, but there's also some things that women will stick around for ever, okay? So that's what I want to talk about. This is a pretty expansive, encompassing uh, subject, and I want to share some ideas so you guys can create a home sweet home. I'm going to share some of the, the tribal tricks that we have, that we are creating some amazing culture where women are feeling empowered and enlightened and educated and encouraged and entertained sometimes. And I really want to share some ideas with you because culture is huge, okay? And I was thinking about this, and actually almost all the reading I did today and almost all my note taking, I was thinking like, this really fits with Maslow's hierarchy of needs, okay? And I'm, I really wanted to think about this because you have to make sure that your tribe, your people, your, your group, your company, the women that you're working with, they are getting almost 100% within this network that you are creating, this home that you are creating, um, that they're not gonna receive anywhere else. Maybe they're not even receiving it in, in life. Maybe they don't have it within their relationship. Maybe they don't have it within their, their job, you know, if they're working full-time or part-time or, you know, more than that. They need something that you are gonna provide to them that they're not gonna get anywhere else because as we know, People are loyal to people and people, you know, they might forget what you did. They might forget, you know, how you did it, you know, where you went, but they're never going to forget how you have made them feel. Okay. And that is why it's so important to build um, culture around your, your community, culture around your business, culture around your brand. You want something that they can't almost get anywhere else. And I think that's what I absolutely love about social media, how we can create our content, whether it's through our posts, whether it's through your live videos, whether it's through your images, it speaks all about you creating a home sweet home for your team and your clients and your customers, okay? So your, your uniqueness and your difference um, and, and how you differentiate yourself from everybody else is so, so imperative. Okay, so this is what I want to talk about. Okay, um, got to hustle today because we, we don't want to take up too, too much time. So understanding and remembering that this is what I love to do. Um, I love to stir up creative thought. I love to inspire and enlighten so you guys can do some things a little bit differently or know why you're doing certain things and how to reflect on them so we can duplicate that within our team. Some of Maslow's hierarchies of needs when we're building a tribe and we're thinking about this, um, you know, it has to be a physiological space and place. And that was kind of cool. You know, that makes sense. You know, maybe it's a Facebook group. Maybe it's a chat. And I'm going to get into some examples of how you can use some of these things in your in your uh, business and building your own sweet home, sweet home for your tribe, for your girls. Okay. Safety. Women need to feel that they have a safe place to express themselves. Okay. So whenever you're creating a place and a space within your culture, you have to make sure that it's okay for them to talk. It's okay for them to express, um, you know, and, and do some celebration, uh, which leads me to loving and belonging. Every woman wants to feel that friendship, that connection, that sense of family. Um, everyone wants to be part of something, and that's why culture is really important. We have to satisfy those emotional needs. Like I said, they might not have a very fun job. It might be super stressful, and they're not very happy. Maybe, you know, they're just exhausted from chasing the kids all day, and so when they actually get to engage in their business, and engage in their Facebook groups and connect with other women, they're feeling that connection, that sisterhood, that community, that friendship and family, that loving and belonging that all human beings need, okay?
and esteem. I mean, when was the last time we actually thought about the Atta Girl and the high five and the celebration? Um, that's one of one. It's part of that triangle uh, that Maslow has. Is we want to have respect from others. We want to be respected by others. We want that self confidence and that achievement. We want that recognition. Which leads to that last top of that triangle, which is self-actualization, where, you know, we can get into problem solving. We can, you know, drop the lack of prejudices and we have that sense of gratitude where we know that there's enough sunshine out there for everybody to have success. And, you know, the acceptance of the woman that you are, those acceptance of the facts of the woman that you are, so you can build those better bonds, so you can build those better bridges of connection. Does that make some sense to start? Okay. I just wanted to kind of lay the foundation of really how culture and that that Maslow's triangle really had a, a big aha moment within my brain today it just come into my brain today okay by thinking differently different things start showing up it was kind of cool so understanding that what is missing if we're going to make a list I actually listed them out and you guys can take notes um, definitely this is share worthy to your team this is even share worthy to your leadership if you're not feeling culture okay share this video um, women we have to make sure that within our culture within building our tribe we are satisfying that need so what is missing within your in your friend's life within your team within you know the, the connections and the friendships and the relationships that you're building um do they need a voice do they need a safe place for an opinion do they need a tribe that sisterhood that sense of community do they need that place where they can be empowered and uplifted um that sense of self-development where they get to be part of something that's just for them not their husband not their kids not their family not their work but something for them okay because we even though we are a mom and we do mom like things all the time we still need something that's really special for us okay Women need a place that they can be celebrated and have that cheer and have that recognition and that attagir, um, attagirl. They, the smallest things can be really big. What you might think is small could be huge for another woman, okay? That sense of belonging, that sense of uniqueness, um, that unity and that togetherness that, you know, even though we're all so different, like puzzle pieces, we're still going to fit together in the long run. That different people's strengths and weaknesses, different people have those different uh, spaces and places. That's how we can connect. The different facets of ourselves is really what allows us to have the meeting of the minds. And making sure that you're giving that acknowledgement. Women, you know, we desire to be acknowledged. And I think that's really, really important, all right? So, like I shared earlier, there's some things we can specifically do, and I took notes because I really wanted to help you create. So I've got nine, eight, eight different little things that you can do to help create your culture, to help create that home sweet home, all right? Ultimately, having that ability to have women being plugged in. So being plugged in. Women need a place where they can feel connected. This is the first one. Having that place of community, uh, communication, unity, and family, and having those abilities to plug them in. So that's what we have. Social media is absolutely amazing. And your email list, or maybe even your blog or your YouTube channel, a place where women can connect with other women. Um, having the ability to use your Facebook groups and chat is imperative because that's where women can feel plugged in and they're gonna get those the communications so they still feel connected. Remember, different women learn differently with their different personality types. It's important to have different images. It's, to, it's important to have video. It's important to pick up the phone. It's important to definitely um, have written step-by-step -step, um, of those things. So women within their different time periods and their different personalities and how they learn, they're going to be able to find the blend that they, when they're plugging in to your team and your business uh, and the trainings, they're gonna be able to absorb it and utilize it to the best of their ability, okay? Tip number two is grow direct, okay? And grow is allowing you to grow as a woman, okay? This is where we are allowed to use the team tools to help uh, point um, and direct women to how to get the information that they need for their personal growth. So they can, you know, feel that they're making a difference within themselves, feel that they're making a difference within their business. That can do with uh, team trainings. 
making sure that you're utilizing, um, you know, masterminding, brainstorming, round table, um, being innovative, and definitely having some fit and flex. Remembering different women are going to be coming into your business with different skill sets, depending on how long they've been going around the block, or even how they've been building their businesses ineffectually, and they're frustrated. So you have to make sure that you are giving them the right tools um, for those team trainings, okay? Maybe um, that's, you know, once a month or, you know, twice a month to have those online roundtable discussions, those virtual coffee chats or grab a, grab a glass of wine or some bubbly water and sit down um, twice a month on a, on a Zoom call and allow women just to show up in their pajamas or once the kids are in bed, just be themselves and let them unravel a little bit and talk about things that are meaningful to them. It, it might like seem as kind of fluffy and useless, but a woman needs to be heard. And you need to give her that place and space where she can grow and be heard. Which leads me into tip number two, is building their confidence. Understanding that different women, like I said, are gonna come to you with different skill sets. And it's, I love um, our social retail uh, tribe. We call it the elite society. We have different women that have different skill sets and strengths. One is super techie. Uh, another one is great at creating PDFs and cheat sheets. Another one is awesome at listening to voice calls and she transcribes them so then we can read them later. We've got uh, daily method of operations. We've got like a 90 day game plan. We allow them to, you know, build their confidence and then delegate some of the tasks out. We highlight different women's skill sets and strengths and allow them to say, okay, on Tuesdays, Roxanne, you show up in this group and you, you know, you do a little live video, a little mini training of how to turn your follow button on start to finish, you know, setting your Facebook page up for success. Um, Jennifer, hey, on Friday nights, you're going to upload it to our Bringing Healthy Back tribe um, of over a thousand women that we're trying to do our bodies good. Um, you know, show up within that group and provide something of nutritional value because she's a nutritionalist. I have other ones that are, you know, physiotherapists and we have other ones that are nurses and doctors, um, you know, collagen experts, all these different women, we utilize them within the group to help uh, connect and leverage everyone else's strengths, okay? So sharing, making sure that we're sharing the lessons. Um, this can be part of your round table a couple times a month is allowing women to leverage uh, their struggles, you know, share those learned wisdoms, share the scraped knees, share the struggles of how then you picked yourself up and you got back to the sunny side of life. Share those struggles and those pains and problems that over time turn into wisdoms and tips and shorten the learning curve for other women. I think that's so important because that is duplicatable. Stories and experiences are duplicatable and that women are going to be happier and they're going to be more productive and we're going to have more women winning. And I love our team because of that, because we just pour so much into them, which is tip number, I think we're on tip number five, which is give it back, okay? Everything that you want, we have to give, okay? So if we're thinking about this from a mental standpoint, if we want more recognition, give recognition to your team. If you, um, if you want more tips, learn different tips so then you can implement them and then teach them onto other people. Pour into others as you have been poured into. So many women don't think that they have anything to give. So many of our team come to the table thinking they don't have any value, they don't have any goodness, they don't have anything to contribute. And once we have a couple conversations, what comes out of them is absolutely incredible. We have um, experts when it comes to you know, doing income taxes. We have accountants. We have people that are, are really technically strong within WordPress and others that are great with Aweber and trying to plug into GoDaddy plugins and domain names and crazy stuff like that. We, as women share their story, they think they're bringing nothing to the table, but they're bringing everything. Um, their life experiences, you have value and you have goodness. So we definitely apply Ray Higdon's uh, Invest, Learn and Teach. But we have some of these women that, you know, we, we allow them to want to share everything that they are learning. You know, different women have different skill sets and education and courses, and they just take everything and they just plunk it back inside our elite society. They just keep on putting it back in there in PDFs or videos or cheat sheets or documents or mini courses. I mean, when you have leadership like John and Nadia Melton and they train other network marketing teams, 
And, you know, I can message John and he's going to message me back within minutes. Like he's in all of our different group chats. And Nadia is absolutely amazing. Jen Johnson, Aaron Burt, Sherry Brown. Like we have amazing leadership that are at the fingertips. If we have a question and we don't need to know it all. I mean, that's what stresses women out, thinking that we need to know it all. And we allow the tools and the chats and the conversations within our leadership group as my team uses me, um, you know, I can use other people and it goes around. You're investing and you're learning and you're teaching and that leverages us and lifts us all up. So how can you duplicate that within your own team? Okay. Which leads me to the very last tip and it's something that I learned a long, long time ago that if you are feeling that you are lacking something, if you're feeling you're lacking something, you know that you are not the only one out there lacking it or wanting it. It's like, if you want more recognition, I suggest that you go give more recognition. If you don't seem to be getting enough activity on your on your fan page, on your Facebook page, then you should be going and giving more activity and more action on other people's pages. If you're feeling that your friendship circle isn't growing fast enough, take action. Go find ways. Um, I have so many blogs and, and many trainings on how to grow your friendships and your connections. Everything that you want and desire in your life and a need is what you should be giving to other people. It's absolutely, it's imperative. It's absolutely imperative that you start giving more than, than what you're expecting to get because that's what's going to come back at you. That's how just, just how that beautiful world that we live in works, all right? So I really hope you guys got some excellent value of this today. Of course, caring is sharing. So if you know that, you know, your culture is struggling, that you just don't feel that tribe, that sisterhood, that connection, um, maybe share this, you know, maybe start implementing some of these tips. And by all means, you can reach out to me, send me a message. I do do th um, four free coaching calls um, every week. So you can pop over to my blog at roxanleach.com and pick them up. Or of course, if you don't know what the heck social retail is, if you're looking for um, a tribe, if you're looking for a sisterhood and you, you like my vibe and, um, then definitely reach out and ask me what the heck is going on within social retail. Uh, May is my birthday month, month and I'm super excited because I've got a whole bunch of special bonuses and incentives that are being launched. Um, because it's only a couple days to my 50th birthday. All right, so you guys have a most fabulous evening. And of course, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow on the sunny side of life. You guys, take care. Bye, guys.